Time for the best interview in baseball presented by Edward Jones. Freddie Freeman of the Atlanta Braves. You are top three in our IT top 15 countdown. Be honest, where does that honor rank among all the awards you've received in your baseball career? <laughs> Uh, it's, it's, it's really high up there, guys. Uh, you know, I live for this show once a year. That's all I'm going to give you guys. But I live for it. I'll take number three, but maybe we'll get to number one or two after this. Yeah, dare to dream. Dare to dream. Uh, Freddie, congratulations <laughs> to you and your bride. You are expecting yet another son. And what a well-produced yes. gender reveal video. So I'm curious, what cost more, um, this video or your wedding? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, thankfully, uh, my brother-in-law and sister-in-law did all the bombs and the, the balls and the gender reveal video. So I don't think it cost anything. Um, so I'm, it, my wedding uh, definitely went, takes the cake for that one. Yep, yep. No doubt about that. Uh, I love seeing you take some poolside hacks with your son, Charlie. No doubt about it. I do want to ask you. Who's he got a better swing than uh, than anybody on your team? There's got to be one guy you're like, you know what? My son Charlie is way better at swinging the bat than somebody on that Atlanta Braves squad. Yeah, yeah, definitely he does. Uh, I'm, but I'm not going to go position player wise. Uh, I'm going to go with our pitching. Thank goodness the DH came into play uh, this year, so we don't have to watch Fulty swing the bat anymore. Um, I think we all know Fulty. Fulty is it's actually comical to watch him swing the bat. Um, usually if you're on the third base dugout, you get to see his eyes after he swings because he's looking right at you. So uh, Charlie, I think, might have a better chance than Fulty. My bad, Fulty, but he knows it. <laughs> yes, love it. Uh, you know, one thing about Uncle Kevin, you know him a nine-time, seven-time, whatever you want to do, five-time father of the year. You're reaching that point. Yep. I love the way you humbled Charlie here because you hit a moonshot here in the backyard. Big fly. Did he come up and in on you next at bat is the question. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I have to keep him honest. Um, that's the whole goal. You know, um, we play MLB the show now. So after I hit that homer, uh, he wants to hit every batter in MLB the show because in the video game, they fall down. So he thinks it's hilarious. And now when we play baseball in the backyard and in the house, he's just peppering me with fastballs. And he thinks it's hilarious. So um, I, I'm it, it's been a it's been a bruisy sessions of baseball the last few times out. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm curious, does Charlie think he's a big time TV star? Because we the cameras recently caught you climbing into the stands there in Atlanta and taking a picture with his cardboard cutout. So does he just think he's the star of the show? Yeah, I I like to mention him because, you know, he, he gets so excited when I mention Charlie on TV and he's always watching daddy. I mean, it's literally baseball from the minute he wakes up to the moment he goes to sleep. He plays imaginary baseball in bed before he goes to sleep. So I try and he, he just loves it. So uh, we have so much fun. And now we're adding two more boys uh, before next uh, spring training. So it's going to be uh, some broken windows, some paint all over the walls. My wife is just going to be <laughs> loving every minute of it here yes. in a little bit. <laughs> oh, absolutely love that. Uh, we had dreams come true this past Halloween. Seriously. Think about it. I know it's you, but you found a little sparky here wearing a Freddie Free jersey. Coolest thing ever. Yep. Couple questions. Did he realize it was you after this picture? I mean, you guys say, yep, that's me. And two, which jersey did you wear for Halloween when you went trick or treating as a child? Okay, so um, I had a mask on uh, just so I could get around the neighborhood because we go to um, our old friend Jeremy Hermida's uh, neighborhood to trick or treat because it's a great neighborhood Ooh. to go to houses. So uh, that was about the third kid I saw. And finally, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go and, and, and surprise this kid. He was right next to, the, to Herm's house. So I walked over there. I took the mask off. I don't think he realized that it was me uh, at the initial on <laughs> onset of that, but uh, it took a couple minutes that he finally realized it was me. So we took some more pictures, but he was very, very um, shocked that it was me. And second, I never dressed up really as a baseball player. You guys would never guess this, but I dressed up as Goofy. I absolutely loved it. I loved the big old feet. Uh, I had the hat, the ears. <laughs> 
I did it for like I think I think it was four straight Halloweens. Okay, and it just it just it kind of matches the personality, I guess. So I was goofy growing up, and I, I and I went into character. I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> so good right there. Uh, last year, diving try at Wrigley Field. Ball in the stands, beer all over. Yep, you. And then you got a little taste test. Well, now that you're a beer connoisseur, yeah. what kind of beer was it? Uh, I'm not a beer connoisseur, um, so I'm not really quite sure. Uh, okay. I just probably know it's like a $25 beer because that's what they sell usually at stadiums. But <laughs> yep. uh, I was I was kind of like struggling a little bit uh, during that time. So, you know, I, Kev, you know, there's some rally beers that go into here and there trying to get you started. So I saw that beer go on my arm. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to jump start my season right here and I'm going to taste this rally beer. So. Uh, they didn't show, but I went out uh, the next half inning with a $20 bill and handed that guy 20 bucks and said, go get a couple beers on me. So, uh, my bad. <laughs> so good. <laughs> no. You mean a half a beer. Uh, well done. <laughs> yeah. So, Freddie, uh, you had a play at first base where you were actually going against the Pittsburgh Pirates and you're trying to get back safely and Josh Bell has the quick tag over there and you started doing the whole thing with the headsets. Were you locking eyes with somebody in the Pirates dugout there to actually get them to challenge it? Yeah, you know, I, they every time there's a close play, so it's just like every time the hands go up and these games are getting long so i was just like you know what hurry up and just challenge this thing you don't need to wait 25 seconds i'm safe so uh waste your challenge and let's go so i mean every play it's like hands up from our dugouts and it's just getting ridiculous so i just tried to help them out you know and say just challenge well done well done Freddie, we always hear that you're one of the nicest guys when, when players get to first base. So give me a list of the top five guys you love chopping it up with there at first base and give me reasons why. Okay, yeah. So I am I try and be as nice as I can. Um, you know, getting a hit in a big league ball game is pretty special. It doesn't matter who you are, getting a hit in a, in a big league game. So I, I, I always say congrats, nice swing, always when you get to first base. So. Uh, I love uh, Bryce Harper and I have great conversations. Um, the last time we just played him, we were talking about kids. You know, I got two on the way. He's got a, he's got one on the way too. So we we're talking about how uh, awesome our wives are that we get to play baseball, and they're uh, they're 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 nailing it at home for us to be able to do that. Uh, Rizzo. He's one of my favorites. It's usually more mm -hmm. first baseman because yep. everyone has the same personality, you know, most of the time. Uh, Joey Votto, I love getting over there because it's just interesting. Um, you never know what's going to happen <laughs> over there with Joey. So I love those conversations. Uh, Ryan, <laughs> Ryan Zimmerman and I, uh, we usually talk about fantasy football because we play them a lot, you know, in September going down the stretch. So we're always yeah. talking about the draft and stuff because Ryan's not stealing a base. So I don't have to worry about him running. He's always like two feet off the base. So we're good. Um, number five, um, you know, I love when Jay Hay, you know, my best friend, uh, gets to first base. Um, we go back 15 years, so it's always great to get over there yes. and we just talk. It's, it, I, I mean, I love when anybody gets over there. I like to learn people's personalities. Usually when uh, we had Julio Tehran, no one, whoever got on first base with Julio's pickoff move, I was trying to just talk to them about anything to get them off their, off their game so we could pick them off. But most <laughs> of the guys, I love talking to anybody. Um, Rafael Devers, he's fun to get over here. He smells really good, too. I like guys that smell good. You know, a lot of people, um, yes. you know, believe yes. believe in the smell good, play good scenario. We have one on our team, a couple on our team with Johan Camargo and Marcelo Zuna. You know they're coming to the dugout because you can smell them from a mile away. So usually guys that are good personalities that smell good, that's who I like at first base. That is so true, so true. I used to steal the cologne from the guys on our teams like Big Poppy always had like 35 bottles. And I don't know, you know, good cologne's a couple hundred bucks a bottle. And I was, you know, I was paycheck to paycheck, Fred, let's be honest. So I used to steal other stuff. <laughs> yeah, but you got to show teeth now. So you save those paychecks. You didn't waste it on cologne. Okay, so we're good. Now you look good Great for point. TV. <laughs> Great point. Thank you very much. Great point. I do want to yep. go back to Bryce Harper and your relationship. We had him mic'd up the other day, and he said some really nice things about you. So just listen up, and then I want you to react after. Here we go. 
I mean, I think the thing about Freddie, too, I mean, him and Rendon are my most underrated players because they just they have such good at bats. They're never out of it. You know, they're always in control of their at bats. He plays an unbelievable first base, too. So, I mean, it's just he's an all around player. He's really, really good. He's a great person, teammate. I mean, he just he's the star of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Like and every single fan down in Atlanta loves him. Yeah. Um, you know, that, that that kind of stuff. Um, it makes you feel good. Uh, you, I don't know. You guys put me on the spot with that. You're making me speechless, man. It's, it feels good when people, <laughs> you know, th think of you in that kind of way. Um, I love playing this game of baseball. I know Bryce does too. So we've gotten really close over the years, and um, it, it means a lot that the peers uh, of Major League Baseball feel like that, feel that way about you. So. Uh, it makes you feel good. It makes everything you're doing out here worth it. Um, you're going to be a baseball player, you know, hopefully for 15, you know, at most 20 years. Um, and But the friendships you're going to have are going to last a lifetime. So uh, it, it, it's, it's very humbling that, uh, you know, a former MVP and who's having a great year this year. And, you know, the Phillies are in a great position with a, with a player like Bryce. So it means a lot. And I, I, I really do appreciate kind words. It's, it's really nice. You're a pro, bro. You're a pro, and that, that, that's, that's true stuff right there from Bryce. I love that. I got one more question for you. Big fan of yours. I want you to listen up, and then we're going to answer the question. Go. Hey, Freddie. Clay Buckholz here. I uh, just got a quick question for you. I paid 1500 for every single tooth in my mouth. I think there's, I don't know, Kevin said we have 87. So my one question to you is, how much did you pay for each tooth, and how many did you actually do? Did you like go cheap and not get the back ones, or you know, whatever? We just we just needed to know this, and uh, you, got, you got a great smile. So I have a couple guys here that wanted to know. <laughs> oh, jeez! I mean, every time I come on the show, it's got to be teeth, huh, Kevin? But um, I do have a great smile, but I wasn't blessed with a great smile, so I needed to pay for it. Um, we're not going to get into specific details about how much it costs, but there's only four teeth in my mouth, and it's that are not done. Uh, it's my molars. Um, I smile wide, so I needed to cover a lot of a lot of space in my mouth. But uh, I, I do might have a car, the price of a car in my mouth. Uh, I'm not maybe a little small Mercedes, so. Um, I wasn't blessed by looking fantastic uh, in my mouth area, so I cleaned that up. I didn't, I didn't have good eyes, so I went and got LASIK pay for that. So I'm doing my best over here, guys, with what I got, and I think it came out pretty good. So sometimes they might say it's too white, but you know, I, I did it. I paid for it. And I'm going to get them white. Okay. <laughs> you got it, man. Freddie Freeman, we always love the conversation. Thanks yeah. so much for the time. And by the way, you are welcome for your IT mojo tonight. Enjoy that run, okay? Yeah, yeah. the house that Millar built, I expect homers, okay? Let's do it. Fact and doubles. <laughs> yeah, I like those too. <laughs>